Hi, it's Kathleen, and today we're going thrifting. You probably knew that already, didn't you? So we're gonna be going to a couple different places. We're gonna hit up a Goodwill and a new vintage store that is my new favorite place. So without further ado, let's go hop in the car and get this thrift train a rolling. Let's go. Coming to you looking like a wet, fret, wet, fresh rat. One of the home goods I've been looking for is like some under desk storage. This is kind of what I have right now, but I'd love to find like a wooden version of the Alex drawers. Something a little more mid cinch natural looking. I would even take like a filing cabinet if it was sleek enough, but this boy is too chonky. So another thing that I'm looking for is a full quilt like this to be kind of like a summer weight blanket. Our current duvet is like very Ohio winter ready. It's a little too hot. I'd love to find like a down comforter. This one's not bad, but it's man-made material. So it get pretty sweaty in there. Oop. Also, this fabric is so beautiful. Look at this. It's got all my favorite things. Pink, orange, a chain, checkerboards, weird florals. I'd love to make something out of this, but I know that this fabric would be so hard to sew with. It's so slippery. This is not the most beautiful lamp you've ever seen. I need to plug this in and see if it works. Which warrior cat are you? I'm this one. The texture of these bears makes me want to throw up. Ooh, this is nice. I kind of love these. These feel very old. They'd be cute like outside with some little taper candles in them. Hmm. Okay, we're looking at clothes now. Is this or is this not the dress that that one American Girl doll wears at Christmas time? Hold on, let me find it. This one. Yes? No? Tell me in the comments. Look how cute this fabric is. Oh me. Oh my. Ready to try some stuff on? Let's go. First thing, sorry about whatever that is on the mirror. Let's ignore that. This cute little chocolate brown linen dress. You could wear it like just buttoned up a couple times or button it up all the way. I like this fit on me. I feel like it's flattering. And I also found something to go on top. So I also found this linen-y just like brown button up for a little layered moment. Feels very Japanese street style, especially with these shoes. Hmm, I'll definitely get the dress. Not sure about this. As for the rest of this stuff, do you ever just get into the dressing room and see the stuff that you brought in and you're just like, I don't wanna. That's how I feel right now. But this was already in the dressing room. I kind of want to try it on real quick. Wait, this is kind of awesome. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so I thought it was a jumpsuit because it had this little zipper, like maybe it was coveralls, but it's like this floor length dress with these really cool golden buttons. Um, okay, I love this. Hello. It do be raining out there. So I don't think I mentioned this at the start of our thrifting trip, but the whole reason I'm on this side of town is because a vintage shop just opened over here. And I was kind of just trying to kill some time before it opened for the day. Let's go check it out. First, I need to get something in my body. I'm hungry, I'm verging on grumpy, and nobody wants that. I think I just found my new favorite store. 
I'm the only one in here, so I am demasking. This place is incredible. They've got tons of stuff for guys, tons of stuff for ladies, vintage upon vintage upon vintage, and the prices are really fair. I'll give you an example. I found this amazing 70s Melanie set. It's got two pieces, even has a little tag on here if you're looking for specific generations. And I think this set is like 35 bucks. Yeah, so that is way less than you're gonna spend at, I don't know, your J. Cruz, your Madewells for a whole set. And it's one of a kind and sustainable. How about that? The sizing is really interesting here. The clerk at the front let me know that they're sized how they would be sized today. You don't have to worry too much about like, is it a vintage 16 or is it a modern 16? It's sorted to be modern. So you should be good to go. Let's peek around here, take a look at the shoes. There might be some amazing stuff here. Ooh, and it looks like a lot of stuff is on sale. surprisingly out of this entire wall of stuff this is the only pair that has really caught my eye i mean can you blame me and of course 50 percent off that's gonna be a yoink from me dog I feel like I need to go take a cold shower. That store was incredible. I'm almost tentative to even share this with y'all because I want to keep it all to myself. But if you're in Ohio or if you're ever passing through, you gotta check this place out. I would love to make a dedicated video just about this place. Spend like hours there and do a little try on party. I feel like that would be so fun. But for now, we scored some awesome shoes. I'm gonna head home and we'll continue our little thrifty YouTube vloggy adventure there. Peace. See you in two seconds. I'm back and I come to you from a different angle today. Also, she who was once a wet rat is now a cocker spaniel. Is that the kind of dog I look like? Or maybe one of these? I don't know. Comment down below which dog I am. You won't offend me. Anyways, I found a couple goodies at the thrift store, as you saw, but I also have some mail that I wanted to open with y'all. This is from my dear friend Liz over at Beep World. And she said that she saw this at a garage sale and knew I had to have it. I think she also made a video about going to garage sales. I'll link that down below so you can watch it after this. Anyways, let's get a sharp object and uh, rip this bad boy wide open. Seems sharp. Surgical precision. Ooh, I almost cut whatever is in here. She also said this is for my birthday, but my birthday's in October. Scorpios are not known for their patience. Are they? I don't know. <gasps> a Kappa. He can join my other Kappa. Heck yeah. Kappa gang. You can just look at him and his little belly button. Let me read this real quick. Kashi, Liz says hi. Get out of your bag and into my hands. When Liz and I did our thrift swap, I pinned a bunch of like funky, weird, chonky clip-on earrings. So she remembered that and sent me some. Thank you, friend. Love them. Ooh, someone's calling me. Can't they tell that I'm hanging out with my friends? And I can put this in my new earring catch-all that I showed you in last week's video. Okay, I'll go grab that after this. I am loving these. You know what, I'm gonna say it. These have a little bit of horse girl energy and a little bit of horse girl energy is really all you need. You know, something smells really good. Mm, maybe not. It's not me. I believe this is a brooch. Powerful. We're making a bolo tie out of this. Let me go grab my clip-on earrings and we can put these on display. Here's my little jewelry area and here's that swivel top catch-all. So it's got my gold clip-ons up here, silvers down here, and then funky down here. And these are definitely going in the funky. Boop, boop. Safe and sound. 
Next, let's do a little try on of what I found at the thrift store in the vintage shop. But first, shall we take a brief sojourn and just enjoy some Kashi cuteness? This brown dress is the perfect outfit base. You can rock it on its own or use it as a layering piece. The potential is impressive. Here's how I'd style it with the beaded mules that I found at the vintage shop. Wearing it as a shirt with the bottom half unbuttoned adds a lot of cool movement. And I like the staggered layers that we start to get with the bottom of the jeans and a little bit of ankle. I'm looking at you, Mr. Silas. Mr. Silas, this young lady's flashing her privates. Oh, well, I'll dispose of this. <laughs> all for Silas, all for Silas. And the beaded flats. It's the perfect summer fit. Now we get a little bit spicy. I recently found these brand new Aloha's sandals at the thrift store. Can you actually truly even believe that I found these? Color me gobsmacked. I'm the luckiest. Anyways, just the dress and the heels would be easy breezy and super cute, but I added this black and red corset and an Obi style belt, and now the outfit has a little bit of weird, which is crucial in my opinion. Now I feel like the friendly cottagecore vampire who got dressed up and ventured out of her cave to try the new cocktail bar that she's been hearing so much about. And okay, maybe the bar ends up being a little bit overhyped, and maybe she accidentally orders a weird artisanal cocktail that has garlic as the mystery ingredient, but... She looked cute while she was doing it, and that's all that matters. Finally, I just wanted to show you this lamp in action. So it was made in Germany sometime between 1949 and 1990. We know this because it has a sticker on it that says it was made in the German Democratic Republic, and it's crystal. This bad boy is exquisite, and I love the scattered light that it throws. I also love the fact that it's basically just a fancy mushroom lamp. It's like the perfect combo of 70s mid-century modern and bougie European style. Well, what'd you think? You know, I'm not mad about the fact that I only found two, three things today. In all honesty, it was kind of intentional. I'm trying to be more thoughtful and curated with what I bring home from the thrift store these days. And hey, it turns out I like my clothes a lot more when I do that. So let's talk about the Alley Vintage Shop. That was incredible, right? I would love to do a fully dedicated video all about that shop. Maybe shop for some specific decades. Let me know down below if there's specific vintage looks or decades that you'd be interested in seeing. And I'd also love to know what kind of thrifty, artsy videos that you'd like to see in the future. I have an ongoing going list of ideas. I know a house tour has been on the list, more thrift flips, but if there's something specific, I'm all ears, literally. Have you seen these babies? If you like this video and you'd like to see my future videos, then please subscribe. That would be just marvelous. I post every week. And if you want to keep in touch throughout the week or see some behind the scenes goodness, you can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. I've been posting a little bit more recently. I'm Kathleen Illustrated there and here and everywhere. And with that, I will leave you with this video or maybe this playlist. I don't know, something to tide you over until next week and I will take my leave. Okay, I love you. Bye. Dink. Oh, hot.